Hi, I'm Grammy nominee Simon Phillips, and you are listening to City FM 89. Welcome to a very, very special show on City FM 89, where I'm joined by uh, two huge, huge guests out here. I've got one from, uh, from outside Pakistan, and I've got one who is very Pakistani. Simon Phillips uh, is here with us, and we have the pleasure of having him in Pakistan. I'll tell you who Simon Phillips is, in case you don't know, and I'll be quite surprised if you're a music fan if you don't know. He is a, uh, a drummer that no less than Jeff Beck has said, one of the best English drummers have and, and, and that's a big compliment going to Simon Phillips uh, and then we have Kashan from Ismar welcome to City FM 89 and uh, we're right here at Dream Station uh, in Karachi. Uh, Simon is here because we wanted him to come and record some music and uh, that is primarily my uh, you know instrumental album that I wanted him to play on and also I wanted him to do a master class for Pakistani musicians and the local music industry professionals so that they can learn from his experience and his incredible musicianship. Yeah. But Simon, what's it like being in Pakistan? Um, it's great. I mean, we've seen mostly the inside of the studio, so in a couple of restaurants, a hotel. Uh, but, yeah. What exactly are you going to be doing? What exactly are you going to be teaching them? Or... I'm not really a teacher. I just, uh, it's, it's more displaying and okay. uh, playing music and uh, uh, sharing some of my concepts. Uh, I think that it's great exposure for all of us. We were just in the middle of writing the song just now. You know, he was just—he was making me do all the writing. And I was just, <laughs> just uh, you know, a bad tool playing the lines. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I mean, he's worked with some of the greatest musicians, and obviously when I'm working with them, I feel a little, you know, uh, like Mick Jagger. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's uh, sometimes you're in awe of such a musician, like you can't even play properly. <laughs> 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 yeah, but but uh, we're getting there, and and I think uh, we'll make some great music yeah, together. Yeah. And, and and I'm glad that Simon is actually helping me produce music in, in, in a very different way. What do you know about Pakistani music? I, I'm a big fan of Nusrat Ali Fatih Khan. So uh, and I didn't realize actually he was Pakistani. So and then I found out the other day, and I went, "That's right, of course he is. Yeah, beautiful. In he fact, does. actually, I was doing a record down at Real World." And he was in another studio. You tell me, what's the song that you've been belting out recently when you're driving in the car or in the car in karaoke? I have my iPhone in the car and I have it on shuffle mode. And it's the most wonderful thing because I have no idea what's going to come on next. Oh, so it's a bit of a surprise. It's a, always a surprise. Um, so, uh, uh, what else? Tell me, what else does, uh, does Ms. Bar have uh, in? Well, uh, right now, Ms. Mar is kind of on a hiatus and we are uh, we are recording some music, but uh, that's going to come out later this year. I'm right now focusing on, you know, other stuff, which is, you know, producing and recording. And then this has come up all of a sudden and I want to record my own instrumental album because it was long due and I thought that, you know, I had the, there was a point, there is a point when you want to do something for your, you know, for yourself. And I think uh, this album I want to make for my own self. Although I'm not getting the time to write it properly and that's something that I'm hating right now because of you know, what I do in the day, which is producing music for TV commercials. But, uh, but I want to write my own music and uh, that's the reason why I was actually inclined to bring this animal to Pakistan and you know, uh, have him re record some stuff with me and then obviously do the masterclass and all that. And then I'm thinking we'll, we'll try to get some more great musicians. Have a great, you know, see, have a series of, you know, uh, artists coming into Pakistan and doing this on a regular basis because and, we need that. And, and uh, of course, Simon, by the time he goes back, he'll probably fall in love with Pakistan because. Uh, I hope uh, he does. <laughs> Do you say fall in love in Pakistan with or Pakistan. With, with Pakistan? With Pakistan. Oh, okay, all right. Just want to make sure I heard that right. Simon can go back and then, uh, Well, that can happen too. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> never know. You, you never know. Yeah. So, um, anything else you'd like to just before we wrap up? Well, I'd like to just tell, uh, give out a message to all aspiring musicians and you know young musicians who really you know who want to take music seriously. They must come to this masterclass because it's an iconic, uh, you know, a musician like Simon Phillips who's come down to Pakistan, all the way to Pakistan, and rarely does one get such opportunity, you know, to get exposed to his wealth of 
you know, knowledge. Yeah. It's the 1st of March okay. and it's happening at the PC and uh, the tickets are available. Uh, you can book them through our Facebook page, uh, www.facebook.com slash dreamstationproductions. Get the tickets from there and uh, we're running out of tickets probably, so it's best that you get them as soon as possible. Salman, before we leave you, any, anything you'd like to say to all your fans in Pakistan? Um, it's going to be great to actually play here. I have never done that before, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, It's wonderful to, to be here, and thanks to Kashan. For... Kashan from Isbar, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Salman Amir. Phillips, thank what you. a pleasure nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. City FM 89 is playing my favorite song. Yeah.